Hey there, Denny here from Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. I am staying here for the weekend, and I thought it might be fun if you and I had an experience at the world premiere food court. I'm gonna eat every meal as I stay here at the resort in the food court. Here at the Value Resorts at Walt Disney World, each Value Resort has a food court, not a table service, uh, this is this is it. This is what you get and you don't throw a fit. So I'm really intrigued to see how the experience is during my stay here this weekend. So why don't you and I have our very first meal? It's lunchtime on check-in day. Let's head on into World Premier Food Court and see what the experience is like. And then, of course, dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm here in the World Premier Food Court right now, and it's got different bays like other food courts that you and I are used to here at the Disney Resorts. And each bay has a little something different. So stop and take a minute to really survey the territory so that you know all of your choices. From pasta and pizza to salads to things that are more like, um, more like home cooking. So like a pot roast and potatoes kind of thing all the way to burgers, and of course, I already know where the desserts are located, at the Rialto, right there. I'm gonna make my selection, here we go. And I'm kind of game planning things a little bit. I think I'm gonna wait to go to the Lyric, and that section is like more like dinner foods. Um, you know, like I said earlier, like more like home cooking. I'm gonna save that for dinner time. So then I have like pasta or pizza over at the Majestic stand, or I go to the Roxy and have like a sandwich, a burger or something like that. Of course, I have already, <laughs> I've already assessed what snack I'll be having, what dessert I'll be having, and it's the Thumper Carrot Cake. It is special for springtime. It's springtime here, and we have carrot cake with cream cheese icing with a cute little thumper from Bambi on it. It looks like it could be reminiscent of the carrot cake cookie from Disney's Hollywood Studios. So I gotta have it. The chef is making them now. They're out of them right now, but but the chef was already making them. So, so we'll get one really fresh and I'm excited about it. So gotta make my last decisions here. And then we'll be back for dinner and of course breakfast in the morning. Let's go. I'm back at the table, choices have been made, and my hubby and I are actually, we got two different items and we're splitting them so that we get, because we each equally wanted the other thing as well. So sharing, it, it's happening here. So what I chose is the honey barbecue pulled pork sandwich for $10.49. Again, this was over at the Roxy uh, booth at the food court. Everything's kind of divided up to make it nice and and figure out of all this is the grill section of things so i chose it i love a pulled pork i i think i've said that before in videos the addition of honey is in, is completely intriguing and it comes with coleslaw on top so there's your cross section <laughs> it's got a little bit of everything you can get it with or without the coleslaw. Both sandwiches that we chose today are on a toasted brioche bun, so a little bit of an elevated fancy. We're fancy here at the World Premier Food Court. Here we go. Bottoms up. That is good. Slightly smoky, sweet because of that honey. That is delicious. It is moist, not at all dried out. We got a fresh batch of pulled pork and fresh fries as well, and plentiful fries. That is just so good. The toasted brioche bun is not as toasted as you might think it is, but it's beautifully soft, not crumbly or falling apart. 
That is, that's straight up delicious. <laughs> okay. Okay, food court. Okay. That's amazing. I just want to show you the, show you the pork there. That is, it's wonderful. It's got some tanginess to it, but the sweetness of the honey is just fantastic. Again, the fries, typically Disney fries, like, okay, you can take them or leave them. But they're actually really good. This batch is super salty, so I'm okay with it. And I have honey mustard because, of course, you have a condiment stand um, right here in the middle of the food court. Just as soon as you head through the cashier stands, you've got every condiment known to man. Plus, that's where you get your utensils and your napkins, all that jazz. I got honey mustard because I like dipping my fries in honey mustard. My husband chose the Showstopper Burger here again at the Roxy booth for $13.49. Here's your cross section. You can get jalapenos. We opted out of the jalapenos, but it's got cheddar. It's got provolone on it. It's got crispy onions all on a toasted brioche bun, same bun as the honey barbecue pulled pork. And it's got a bacon onion jam bacon onion jam. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Anytime Disney puts bacon onion jam on something, you order it and you eat it because it's going to be good. Here we go. That's really good. So it is a typical Disney burger, but listen, they had them cooking on a flat top surface right there at the stand at the booth. So it's fresh, but everything on top is marrying together. Those crispy onions add a wonderful crunchy texture. Like the bacon onion jam is just as smoky and bacony and good. Like sweet onions, like so good. And yeah, the burger's pretty thick. Two for two. We are we're batting a thousand already here, and it's just our food, our first meal of the weekend. So super excited about that. I'll see you back for dessert, friends. We have come to the most magical part of any meal dessert. And as I mentioned earlier, I am having the Thumper carrot cake. It is a springtime treat and it's $5.99. It is two layers of carrot cake with what appears to be a generous portion of cream cheese icing. And of course, as I said earlier, completely reminiscent, of, at least before chomping into it, of the Hollywood Studios carrot cake cookie, which is actually not a cookie as much as a carrot cake. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. So I've got my knife. I've got Thumper. Bless him. Bless you, little cute little Thumper. I'm going to do a little bit of a cross section because it's a snack and we have got to get a good cross section of the snack. Here we go. Oh. It's got a dollop of icing under it to hold it in place on the little foil disc, but there it is. And that, friends, I can already tell it's a moist cake. Oh, Thumper, we have high hopes for you. Here we go. I'm going to take a bite of Thumper first. Typical fondant medallion. Nothing huge to write home about. But what I did taste on that bumper medallion is a little bit of the icing and a little bit of that carrot cake. Woo! I'm excited about this, friends. Here we go. One big bite. Cheers. This will give that carrot cake cookie a run for its money any day of the week. I mean, if they met in a in a dark alley. I'm not sure which one is coming out on top because this is amazing. The carrot cake is lovely, lightly spiced, super moist, nice and thick, super carroty without being like ridiculous. The cream cheese icing is everything you want in a cream cheese icing. It is so wonderful, thick, creamy, sweet, delicious. Unbelievably good. You can see a little bit of the carrot in the in this piece right here. Like, this is a legit, a legit snack. This is so good. $5.99. So be sure when you come by to the food court, you know, stop and make sure there's not a seasonal snack you want to be trying while you're there. <clears throat> I also got Joffrey's coffee. They, you know, you, push, you purchase the coffee 
at the cashier stand. They'll give you the coffee cup, and then you go do a self-serve um, coffee there. It's the 50th anniversary blend that they've rebranded to now be the Walt Disney World Resort blend. And I'm excited about it because I adore this blend. I adored it when it was the 50th anniversary. It's more of a darker roast. Delicious. They have two little creamer options over there and it's, it's great. They have both regular and decaf. So I'm really happy about that. There's plenty of grab and go options if that's more your speed or your time frame. If you're headed out to the parks and whatnot, there's snacks, there's desserts, there's things like bagels, there's Rice Krispie treats. This is also where you're gonna pick up your resort refillable mug. At time of recording, it's $21.99. We are celebrating Disney 100 right now, the 100th anniversary of the Disney company. And there are two different versions of it. There's like one version, but two different lids going on. So you have your pick there. Of course, the regular resort refillable mugs are there as well. That's good for all sodas, water, obviously, teas and coffees that you might get. So everything you might get at a food court's beverage station can go in that mug. That was the first meal here at World Premier Food Court. We will be eating here every meal as we're staying here this weekend. And I gotta say, that was so good. That was like, I've had meals at um, another value resort. I think it was sports, that it, no, it was music. But it was like forever ago. And I was impressed back then. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed this. This was so good from both, both sandwiches plus the dessert, fantastic. And Yadiana, who is a coordinator here, a legacy award winner, was just spectacular. So we've already had a really good interaction, connection with a cast member, Every cast member we've come in contact with so far has been wonderful. So way to go, world premiere food court. And now it's off to another adventure. We are heading in, it is dinner time. Fry, how are you feeling? Hungry. Okay. Hungry for dinner. Okay, we're gonna go into dinner. It's time, time to hop in. Off we go. Here we go, meal number two. <laughs> I so wish I knew what y'all would be picking if you were here. Please let me know in the comments. I'm super curious. Decided I'm getting the braised beef with mashed potatoes and green beans. It looks really good. So we are at the table here for round two in the world premiere food court. And I have chosen from the Lyric booth, I've chosen the braised beef with garlic, green beans, mashed potatoes, and a red wine demi-gloss sauce on top. Um, you can have that red wine demi-gloss either on your beef or your potatoes or both or none. And of course, when I asked the cast member if they would recommend that red wine demi gloss they said yes <laughs> so i got it and it looks amazing it really does i wanted a little like a heartier dinner kind of entree tonight and this is right up uh the alley so it's 14 dollars 49 and when i was cutting the beef it was just so so tender so already good things it seems are on the horizon we'll see take the first bite here here we go. Really nice. <laughs> Salty, tender, like pot roast. We are having pot roast here at a value resort. That is actually really, really nice. Let me take some of them, just some of the sauce, the demi gloss. Okay, so it's not as salty. I thought maybe the salt was coming like from the sauce itself. It's really not. It's in the, the beef. Let me try these mashed potatoes with the dummy gloss. Great mashed potatoes. Those are great, not at all dry, um, not overly fancy. So if you just want a straight up mashed potato, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a really good one. It doesn't have, you know, sometimes you can get fancy with, with uh, mashed potatoes, throw garlic and um, all that jazz. No, these are just straight up mashed potatoes and the dummy gloss is really nice. Green beans, garlic, green beans. Very al dente, but good. I would rather have an al dente green bean than one that is just 
cooked within an inch of its life. That is, is really nice. There's a little bit of a, just a, a sheen to the green beans. So maybe that garlic that was applied also had some butter, some oil of some sort. So really, really good. My hubby got the chicken Parmesan over at the Majestic booth. It features a breaded chicken breast. It's on penne pasta, marinara sauce. It also has Parmesan cheese as well. And my hubby did ask, as you look at that B-roll, my hubby did ask for extra marinara um, because he is saucy. What can I say? I'm gonna take a bite. That's delicious. Um, is it overly breaded? No. So if you like a really super breaded chicken breast with your chicken parm, it's not but a great flavor. The noodles, we're gonna try the penne pasta a little bit more just on its own. I can't fault those noodles at all. The pasta is really well prepared. It, I would imagine it would be easy to kind of overdo a pasta in a situation like this, but that really isn't. That's $12.99 and that's really good. It's delicious. Listen, I'm gonna enjoy dinner and then we'll be back for breakfast. <laughs> This is really good. Great job. Another one. We're still batting a thousand. Good morning, it's time to eat again. And in fact, this is our last meal here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. It is breakfast time. Coffee is needed greatly. I had a cup of tea or, well, a cup of tea and a half in the room, but I definitely need some coffee. And I can't wait to see what we've got going on breakfast-wise. So I'm gonna take you with me, let's go. So over here at the Majestic, this morning we've got bacon, egg, and cheese bagel sandwiches a frittata, little things like that. Over at the Lyric, we've got your breakfast favorites, a waffle bounty platter. So if you need your Mickey waffles, that's here. Also plant-based character waffles, so that's fun. You've also got steel-cut oatmeal, potato barrels, sausage, bacon, all of that. Headed over to the Roxy to check things out. And we have like, pancakes, an omelet, oh, something called vanilla pancakes on the kids' menu. That's intriguing. Ham and cheese omelet. We've got those vanilla pancakes on the, uh, the grown-ups menu, too. So that's super intriguing, especially with the berry compote. And then over at the Rialto, it's, it's bakery favorites, including lattes, cappuccinos, and espressos. Sounds good. Here in the grab and go grand area, you've got all things baked goods. So cinnamon rolls, little banana breads, danishes, yummy stuff. We've got cereal over here. So if you just need a thing of cereal and then spinning around, we've got fruit over here. So like hard boiled eggs and yogurt and fruit that's already like washed or cut up, prepared milk, a yogurt parfait I had yesterday that is actually very good. <laughs> good morning, sunshine. All right, so I'm seated here at the table. Hubby's with me. We've got our breakfast. Most importantly, we have our coffee. That's a very good thing. So I chose the Waffle Bounty Platter. It comes with a Mickey waffle, the all-important Mickey waffle, a sizable portion of scrambled eggs, potato barrels, and both bacon and sausage. This is all for $12.49. And I have a little bit of everything, and I really enjoy that about this platter and what's not to love about him. Are you at Walt Disney World if you don't have a Mickey, if you don't have a Mickey waffle? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I'm psyched. Here we go, Mickey waffle. Yummy, malty, um, really nice, 
fluffy, toasty on the outside, everything you want a Mickey waffle to be, he is, that's for sure. I'm gonna have a potato barrel now. It's like a taste of childhood. It's so good. Equally soft on the inside, toasty on the outside. Beautifully done. I mean, it's hard to wreck a tater tot, right? Hard to wreck that, but I do love a potato barrel. Here's the eggs. They're a little salty. They're good. Just keep in mind, this batch is a little salty. Cheers. Oh, that's good bacon. That's good bacon. I mean, it's Disney bacon. They know how to do bacon. I do love sausage links. I really do. In fact, I like sausage links more than bacon right now. And they're all right. It's sausage. I'm happy. I have all, all the breakfast favorites. My husband got the vanilla pancakes with berry compote. It also comes with your choice of either bacon or sausage, and it is $9.99. I almost got this. I almost got this, and then we decided, he went, he went vanilla pancakes, I decided to go with the Mickey waffle platter. Look at the berries in this berry compote. Lovely. That's really good. The berry compote is so good. It's, it's um, sugary without being too overly so. Like they've macerated the berries down. You can tell that's very, very, very fresh. The vanilla pancake in and of itself is really light, very nice. You can, it's, you can definitely taste the vanilla. And for me, in my mind, it's a differentiator. Like that's something special. Thank you for not just giving us pancakes. You gave us vanilla pancakes. Like, mmm, just that extra warmth and richness. Here's the pancake all on its own. Look how fluffy that pancake is. Nice. That's just some good pancakes. Very, very good. It comes with meats, either bacon or sausage. Quick clarification. So when my hubby stepped up to the counter and said he really wasn't wanting sausage, just a little bit of bacon, the cast member offered tater tots as well. So a little bit of bacon plus tater tots. And the tater tots on the side are more expensive than like the breakfast meat on the side. So he was quite pleased. He's got some tater tots. I've got a bunch of them and a bunch of other food to eat and coffee to drink. So the stay here at Disney's All Star Movies Resort has come to an end, as has my eating cavalcade here at the resort's food court. You know, it's funny, when I rolled into our, you know, our little mini stay here at the resort, I thought, okay, like all meals, snacks, whatever, like snacks of substance, you know what I mean? Um, are coming from this food court. <laughs> That's it. I'm not going to go to another resort to eat. I'm not going to eat in the parks necessarily. It was all about this resort and really seeing what they had to offer in the way of food. And then, of course, over on my review vlog, um, it's all about, you know, yes, the food, but also everything else, the rooms, the amenities, the resort itself, what it has to offer. So let me just preface, this is not gonna be a surprise because you've made it this far in the vlog and virtual high five to you if you've done so. Thank you so much, um, great job. I was completely surprised by this. It's, um, you know, I've had food in the value food courts before. It's been a long time since I've really done that. Um, I've had, I've eaten more recently in the moderate food courts. I gotta tell you, I completely, completely surprised by my experience here. I did not lack for anything. You know, for a food court, it was incredible. Number one, the choices. There are so many choices here at the food court. You know, everything from simple grab and go to entrees, like legitimate entrees. The braised beef I had last night was incredibly good, tender, moist, very rich and flavorful. It was warm and comforting without being overly heavy. You want to eat something hearty and something filling and enjoyable. And that completely was. Um, so choices from, can I say that the bakery team here at the All Stars is doing a great job. That thumper carrot cake, like 
we've got a seasonal dessert here, even at the All Stars, and it's incredibly good. That carrot cake was stellar. Chunks of carrot in it, not too overly chunky, of course, but really perfect. Great spice level, moist, and that cream cheese frosting, rich for days. So good. Uh, that was money really well spent. The honey barbecue pulled pork, I'd come back and get that. I'm not kidding. I'd come back and get that. The flavors going on in that, just delicious. That showstopper burger. Yesterday's showstopper burger from the, the, the crispy onions on top uh, to the, the cheese, that bacon onion jam. I mean, that's, it's so good. Please, please get anything with a bacon onion jam on it here at Walt Disney World. It's, it's going to knock your socks off. Right up to breakfast this morning, what I got um, in the Mickey uh, waffle bounty platter wasn't like, we're not rewriting history here. This isn't, you know, moving the needle um, on culinary arts, but it is absolutely what I wanted this morning. I wanted breakfast favorites and a Mickey waffle because if I'm here doing a vacation at Walt Disney World, I don't care if it's one night or five nights, I want a Mickey waffle. And it was perfect. It really was plentiful, tons of uh, scrambled eggs, delicious, delicious really. Um, and the bacon was perfection this morning. Uh, didn't enjoy the sausage as much, but that bacon was top notch. What my hubby had, those vanilla pancakes with berry compote. If you're here at All Star Movies, please get that. It's $9.99, very well spent. That berry compote is so good. Sweet with, like I said at the table, without being overly so, there's macerated berries. They're just so good. And the vanilla pancakes all in of themselves, like that vanilla flavor was was really nice, added a fun and interesting layer and a different take on a pancake. Something as simple as a pancake can be changed up and they're doing it here at All Star Movies. So all of that being said, two thumbs way up for the food that was had here this weekend. I really enjoyed it. I didn't miss leaving the resort for food at all. Not at all. Right down to the grab and go yogurt parfait I had yesterday afternoon. Just top notch, top notch. Keep in mind here at the Value Resorts, you get a food court and that's it. You don't have a table service option, uh, nothing else like that. But if you are trying to stick to a budget, if you're trying to just grab something, eat it, and head on to the parks, get in line for the buses and get going, then you have ample choices. Even if you're just doing a staycation here at the resort, because there are people who come to Walt Disney World and may not get to the parks, may just not want to get into the parks and just enjoy the resort itself. You've got plenty of food options here. So please let me know if you have come to the Value Resorts. I would love to know your thoughts, your opinions. Let me know down in the comment section. Have you come and eaten here at the All Stars, whether it's music, movie, or sports? Let me know, because I would love to know your thoughts on what you had to eat here. If you stay at the All Stars, do you eat here? Or do you, are you just like, no, let me, take me anywhere. This is where I'll stay. I'm gonna eat somewhere else. Let me know down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you plan just a little bit for your next Walt Disney World vacation and, and help you kind of know exactly what to expect when you're coming to one of the all-stars in the category of food. You know, food is important. You gotta have it. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like to at Denny underscore Sunderly. I would love to hang out with you there. I am always up to something. So especially in my Instagram stories, be sure to stop by there. I'd love to hang out with you. Also, if you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more fun like this. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm always up to something and I love getting to share it. So please consider subscribing and share it with a friend if you think they'd enjoy it too. Take good care, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye. <laughs>